Hello dear students in grade 7. This is another English lesson of this kind for you. The topic is Future of Croatia. My name is Lidia Sharavanya. I am your today's teacher. I hope that I will help you do the following. Be able to understand text about certain things in the future while you are reading or listening to it. And write text about how you see a future in your homeland, Croatia. As you probably know very well, you need your computer, a tablet or a phone to follow the lesson. You also need a notebook and a pencil. A QR code scanner will be good to have, but you can do without it. During the lesson, you can pause the video when you need to, and play it again when you are ready. If it is necessary, feel free to stop it or rewind it if you want to see or hear something again or play it forward if you want to skip some parts. You control it. Let's start with this lesson with a difficult question. Is the glass half full or half empty? What does this question mean? It is obviously not a question asking for a fact, because technically, being half full and being half empty are the same thing. This is a question that is asking you about your point of view, whether you see good sides of things, a glass being half full, or you rather see what is missing, you see a glass half empty. So actually, this is the matter of being optimistic or being pessimistic. You can see 10 expressions on the screen now. Some of them are typical words an optimist would say. Others are something a pessimist would say. Take some time to read them and try to sort them out in your mind. Pause the video to do so. Are you ready to go on? Let's go. I believe this is what you have in mind. Let's see them together. An optimist would say, every cloud has a silver lining. Do you know what it means? It means that every bad situation has a good situation that will come after it. Another optimistic expressions are, all is well that ends well. Good things will come to those who wait. They will live happily ever after. I will always love you. A pessimist would probably say, they won't come on time. I'll never be as good as she is. Something bad will happen. You won't make it. And be especially careful when a pessimist say, I'm not being negative, I'm being realistic. Such words can have really bad effect on you. So make sure you protect yourself from them properly. Are you sometimes thinking about your future? We all are, right? So, what are the questions we usually have about it? Here are some questions that might be on your mind when you think about future. When does it start? Who will be in it? Where will you live? What will you do? And who will you be? Now, take your notebook and a pencil and copy the questions and write at least one short answer, one idea to each question. Pause the video. You're going to listen to two texts now. While listening, try to decide which questions they are trying to answer. Don't forget that you can rewind the video if you want to listen to the audio scripts more than once. 
While listening, take a look at the list of words on the left and figure out what they mean. VIPs are very important people in your life, are those who make you feel better when you are blue, who can listen to you and help you straighten things out. There are people who truly care for you and make you feel and know that you are not alone. They can be your friends, family, your co-workers or a romantic partner. If you are lucky, you will have such people in your life. And don't forget yourself, you are your own VIP forever. So, what is the question behind this text? It is, who will be a part of your life? You can copy the words on the left now and match them with the corresponding expressions on the right. Pause the video for this. VIPs are very important people in your life, are those who make you feel better when you are blue, who can listen to you and help you straighten things out. There are people who truly care for you and make you feel and know that you are not alone. They can be your friends, family, your co-workers or a romantic partner. If you are lucky, you will have such people in your life. And don't forget yourself, you are your own VIP forever. While listening, Take a look at the list of words on the left and figure out what they mean. VIPs are very important people in your life, are those who make you feel better when you are blue, who can listen to you and help you straighten things out. There are people who truly care for you and make you feel and know that you are not alone. They can be your friends, family, your co-workers or a romantic partner. If you are lucky, you will have such people in your life. And don't forget yourself, you're your own VIP forever. So, what is the question behind this text? It is, who will be a part of your life? You can copy the words on the left now and match them with corresponding expressions on the right. Pause the video for this. And let's check. You are blue means you feel sad or even depressed. Straighten things out means deal with things successfully. You are not alone means that there are people who care about you. A romantic partner is a person you are in love with and she or he loves you back. If you manage to do this the way you can see it on the screen, good for you. Thumbs up. Now listen to the second text and pay attention to the list of words on the left. Do you know what jobs will be popular in the future? It will definitely be those that involve collaboration between people and machines. There are things that machines can do more effectively, but there are also those that only humans can perform. The experts say that some jobs will disappear, some will come into being, but almost all jobs will go through some kind of change. It will be a great asset to be good at more than one discipline and to be able to combine technology and creativity. So learn how to code, but learn how to paint too. Okay, and what is the question? What will you do? Right. Now copy the words and match them with the corresponding expressions on the right. Do you know what jobs will be popular in the future? It will definitely be those that involve collaboration between people and machines. There are things that machines can do more effectively, but there are also those that only humans can perform. The experts say that some jobs will disappear, some will come into being, but almost all jobs will go through some kind of change. It will be a great asset to be good at more than one discipline and to be able to combine technology and creativity. So learn how to code, but learn how to paint too. And let's check. Involve means to include. Collaboration means work together with someone. Effectively, in a way to make planned result. Perform, do. Come into being, begin to exist. Asset, a valuable person or a thing. Combine. Cause to unite. Code. Write program instructions. 
I hope you did everything right and I like it. You will now read some more texts about future and decide which questions they are the answer to. Again, rewind video if necessary. Here is the first text. Pause the video to read it. See if you understand the bolded words. Okay, and what is the question? The question is, when does it start? Right. And here is the second text. Pause the video and read it. And the question is, where will you live? Right. If you want to know more, about the quality of living in different countries. You can scan the QR code or type bit.ly where to live 7. Here are some of the words you might not be sure about. Copy them in your notebook and try to match them with expressions on the right. Pause the video while writing. And this is what you should have in your notebook. Mandatory means obligatory, compulsory, obavezno. Non-compulsory means not obligatory. Vocational school is, for example, culinary, mechanical or business school. Strukovna škola. Enrollment means the act of officially becoming a member of a school or a university. Upis. BA stands for Bachelor's Degree, Baccalaureate. MA stands for Master's Degree. And PhD stands for Doctor of Philosophy. Good job! To check how you are doing so far, Scan the co code or type bit.ly future is simple in the browser. And have fun, of course. This is the last piece of text for you to read. Which question can you relate it to? Who will you be, of course? As I believe we agreed, everybody thinks about future. There are books, films and songs about it. One of such songs is a song by Doris Day called Que sera sera. Can you guess which language it is? It is Spanish and it means what will be will be. The idea in the song is that we would like to know what the future is like, but it is impossible. If you wish, you can listen to it by scanning the code or typing bit.ly what will be 7. This is the name of the tense we use when we talk about predictions for the future. It is future simple, also known as will future. And here is an example. I will help you. Ben will help me. It is formed with will plus infinitive of the main verb. It is very often used in contracted form, which looks like this. We'll be there soon. Short negative form of will is won't. And we make questions by inversion, like this. Will you give me a flower? Future simple is used for predictions, offers, instant decisions, invitations, usually in form of questions, 
and giving orders. Okay, you can take your pencils again, open your notebook and copy what you see on the screen in your notebook. Pause the video for this. Let's think about the usage a bit more. There are five sentences on the left. Try to decide if they are predictions, offers, or some other situations for which we use future simple. Think about it for a while. You can pause or rewind the video for this. And let's check. I'll help you with this is an offer. It's hot. I'll open the window is instant decision. People and machines will work together is a prediction. You'll do as I say. This is an order. Will you marry me? Is an invitation and it is in the form of the question. If you think it is necessary, you can copy this in your notebook. And let's see if future simple really is simple. Scan the code or type bit.ly future will 7 to do so. Now it's time for you to challenge yourself and here is how. Write two texts of how you see your future in Croatia. One optimistic and one pessimistic. Your texts should have information about your education, information about people important to you, information about your job, information about the quality of living in Croatia. Future simple used properly and the minimum or 35 words, which means 70 words in both texts together. You can consult this self-assessment chart to be the judge of how successful your homework is. I hope you will be pleased with your work. If it can help you, rewind the lesson to go to parts that can help you improve your homework. And at the end of the lesson, there is a question for you. Scan the code or write bit.ly exit card 7 in the browser. Here is the list of sources used in making the video lesson. And my special thanks go to an amazing girl, Lana Barisic, a student in Vladimir Nazar Primary School in Chepin, Croatia for lending her voice. I hope you find this lesson useful. Until the next time, goodbye.